Well, here's an interesting way to get fit for the whole family, provided, of course, you have a dog. You're at the JAG training facility, and there's a couple classes going on. Wall wanted us to come here and work with the residents in the town to um, educate them on what dog agility is. And we're a local club in the county, so it's great that Wall Township let us have our facility here and let us train. Agility is a team sport, and the team is a handler and a dog. The dog has to learn the obstacles, and that's what these people behind me are doing now. It's a beginner's class. They've had maybe four weeks' worth of training, one hour a week. It's a lot of fun for the dogs, and they're, having, they're finding it to be a lot of fun. And all dogs participate in agility. Now, are there dogs that are better at it? Sure, but, um, you know, that's not for me to say. I have a Maltese set. His name is Keaton. I just say the word agility, and he goes berserk. He just loves to run, he likes to please me, and it's, we really, really bond with agility. He knows what it's all about, and that's what's so important about agility. It's bonding with your dog and really becoming close to them, whether you do well or not. It's just a good activity for both of you. I think you become a good dog trainer. I think you learn a lot about how dogs think and what they like to do, and they enjoy doing things other than just you know sitting around and going to get a ball. I mean, this they really learn things, just like kids. My Malady learned left and right in three training sessions. I mean, that's amazing. And to watch a dog learn and know what that is, and to get satisfaction that you taught that. Even old, you know me, when I watched my young dog go through the weed pulls the first time, I was like, wow, that's amazing. When a dog does well, it's like a big party. Like, yay, you did it good. And you know, sometimes we use toys um, for practicing, you know to allow the dog to have the toy when they do good or food. My dog, the first time he went out there, he went up on the A-frame, stood at the top until people clapped for him before he would come down. <laughs> they just do silly little things, and you never know what to expect, and it's a lot of fun. The dog never does anything wrong. If the dog, for some reason, drops the bar or does something, that means you haven't trained it properly. So you never blame the dog. Positive reinforcement, cheer your dog on, give him a treat. Negative reinforcement, if for some reason he does drop a bar, he just doesn't get the treat. So that's the, that's the most negativity that we have in this sport. There's different goals for different people. So either whether you're just running a course and having fun with your dog, or you want to fly out to Arizona like I did and you know go out and win something big and compete against the best in the country. I mean, there's so many different levels that you can compete on. It's a lot of fun. I mean, I've been doing this for seven years, and I've met some of my best friends doing agility and I think it's a very good atmosphere for people and kids to watch and have fun and I really think that it's a good thing to do with your dogs and with your family. Please, please, please. I love dogs uh, because I think you learn quite a bit about humanity when you are close to a dog and um, I am sure that many Wall Township residents are not aware that this exists because I know that there are many pet lovers, dog lovers in Wall Township uh, that they would enjoy this and if they wanted to continue then they could become a member. For the wall residents we do allow them to come into a beginner class free of charge just so they can get a taste of it then if they really really like and they would like to become a club member they may do so. To show you how addictive it is I play golf four times a week. I started agility five years ago and haven't had a golf club in my hand since. <laughs> If you're interested in taking a dog agility class, contact JAG at jagdog.com.